Hello, my name is Rebecca Herger, and I am one of the five celebrities participating in Gray County Reads. The book I am defending is The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie is a 1950s whodunit. Flavia Deleuze, the young 11-year-old gal, is a main character in this book. Her father's history at boarding school becomes the plot of the whodunit. One morning, Flavia discovers a body laying in the cucumber patch. She's unsure of where he came from, but she knows that he was fighting with her dad last evening. As Flavia unravels this mystery, she becomes closer to her father, she uses her library as a resource, and she discovers a world of literary illusions. Prior to the setting of this story, Flavia Deleuze's father was at boarding school in his younger days. There was a death on campus, and that mystery comes forward and is brought forward by the characters in this book. The author is able to use the collection of stamps that Flavia's father enjoys as a reference and detail to a time period in history. This time period that is represented is the Orange Men in England. The author is able to tell the story of the Orange Men's history in England through this book and the relationship that it has on Canadian history. Flavia is unlike other children of her age. Her mother was killed in an accident. She resides with her father and her, three sis and her two sisters at Buckshaw Castle. They also have a prisoner of war as a butler slash limo driver and a homemaker that assists with making meals. These ancillary characters are not as important as the father-daughter relationship between Flavia and her dad. Flavia learns a lot about her father as she's unraveling this mystery. She learns his weaknesses and his strengths, and she sees her dad in a whole different light. While Flavia is untwining her father's past, she's enjoying her love of chemistry. Flavia has an entire book and room at Buckshaw Castle that used to be her mother's, and she uses that to fill her curiosity of chemistry. Young Flavia realizes the importance of the library within her community. The library was given, the building was given, as a donation to the town. Flavia searches old newspapers from the time when her father went to school. Flavia is able, with the help of her librarian, to solve two mysteries in one story. The library in any small community is a very good resource and that proves no different with Flavia searching out her librarian to find the references that she needs to connect the dots to solve this mystery. This book and the author, Canadian author, detail the references and make this book nearly four-dimensional. You can hear the sound of the music that he's playing. You can visualize the art that he describes. And the book continues using all of these illusions for our literary delight. I would like you to vote for Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie because it has collections that we can relate to, allusions to other works of art, as well as a deep connection to the library. For voting and more information, visit southgray.ca.